So I don't really love to cook as the primary cook in this family. However, what I do like is to jazz up the meals when I do cook, right? I'm looking for spices, seasonings, dry rubs, and I found a good place. It is Artisan Dry Goods made by beautiful Briny C. So a little bit of everything to spice up, jazz up your meal. There, it is a local uh, store right here in Atlanta, but ready to ship out to you all over the world. Absolutely. And they're legit. I'm going to be honest with you here. Forbes, The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, and Oprah's Magazine. And you oh. know, you know Oprah oh. only going to promote the good stuff. All right. <laughs> so check them out. Instagram. Beautiful, briny sea. Make your kitchen better. All right, I'm talking about real good ingredients, mm. urban gardens, local farms, mm. so it's good for your taste buds, good for your body. Check them out, and let's get to the episode. What's going on, good people? Welcome back to another episode of Summit Up with the Summers. Damon. We in this thing, you know what it is. We appreciate y'all here for another episode. We're going to get into it. Today is a fun one for you. We say that every time because we mean it every mean time. It. We mean, mean it every time. Uh, but, you know, we don't do anything without telling y'all thank you. Appreciate the support so much. Uh, Apple Reviews, we're almost at 100. We're going to reach our goal by the end of the summer. I know it. I'm confident. We're confident. And we got another review we want to shout out today. Yes, and you know, a way that we can really get here is if you like, share, and subscribe. So please be sure that if you loving this, that you tell your folks about it. How else they gonna know? We need you. Don't just sit on these jewels and gems for yourself. Share. Got it? Cool. Just like Ema today is sharing a little bit. And we got a review. It says it's real and it's relevant. Come on. Five stars. Always. Great insights into relationship dynamics. And how to navigate the good and tough times. Very real and great to hear, even for someone who has been married for a long time. Appreciate that. Come on now. Season vet. Give me love. Thank you. Emak, we appreciate that. Sometimes I do think about, you know, when you're when you're talking about marriage and being in a relationship, you know, there's a there's a huge pool, right? There's people who just got into it, people who've been together, maybe who listened for twenty five years mm -hmm. and it's all in between. Yeah. But if you if you st there's still a relatability, you know, because we can we all go through most of similar things right. here. You be like, yep, yeah, I can relate. I can relate to that. Appreciate you, Iman. Yeah, we do. And you know, as you develop, I mean, you may or may not know, but you're constantly trying to think of who are our listeners, and mm -hmm. you know, is it someone who's twenty plus years, five mm -hmm. years, three years, one year, not married, single? And honestly, y'all, we span across all of that, which is really cool. Um, so we're trying to think through more and more ways to kind of bring us all into mm -hmm. the conversation. Mm -hmm. So, but whoever's listening, we appreciate you. How about that? How about that? Boom. Let's dive in. So today, we did... who was that? That's dangerous. Okay. That's Trey Songs, And you know, Trey Songs made it. <laughs> what is he diving in? <laughs> 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 but that is the song that came that to is. my mind. Dive in. I am first. done. I try not to do that too much. <laughs> Maybe head. Maybe other things. I don't know. Sorry, don't know. Trey Songs. We are here. Maybe you listen to this as you go to work. Get your mind together. <laughs> Clock in. Let's go. Get your mind right. <laughs> All right. So today we got a fun one here. We're going to try something new and different. We've So if you've been rocking with us, you know, we kind of hit a topic and we expanded for about 30 minutes. We've also uh, uh, have done our simple solutions uh, going to the Reddit. And so for here today, we're going to play around with the idea of talking about some different things in relationships, right? Um, but from certain tweets. And so uh, we've scoured the interwebs. And there's some interesting tweets that we want to get in because they still bring up to good conversation. You know, this is what we want. We want you guys to act like and be like you're here in our living room. Got your feet up on the coffee yep. table. Got a little drink. I might even We're like chilling. take a lean You know today. what I'm saying? Normally and I try to sit up with good yeah, posture. Yeah, sit in a good posture. Because I do think back. good posture is really important. That's important. But maybe today I'll lean take back. a lean. So these are good dialogue things. I want to hear what you think. So let's dive into it. So we're going to throw out a little idea, talk about it, have some fun to go from there. Do cool. it. So the first tweet, uh, I'm it said, I'm saying five songs in my head. Five in your head? I'm sorry, y'all. Oh, you're on. There's, you... there's some spectrum okay. that's possible here. Get in there. <laughs> there we go. Number one. It's ADHD that is definitely taking place. 
Have y'all been on an all guys, all girls trip? What y'all be doing away from your bay? Now. This is the oh, Twitter comment. These are all Twitter comments. So off top, I responded to this lady specifically. I remember this. This happened months ago. And she did not like my comment <laughs> at all. Very skeptical. I was like, because I was like, dang, have I been on an all guys trip? And the only time I've been on an all guys trip is on a comedy trip, right? So we're going to go do shows. So this is like this work type of job type of thing. We out here to kill, you know what I'm saying, and chill, essentially. Well, what and, if you're not even on an all guys trip? Like you go on those trips even just solo. I do, I do, I do go That's to many shows. That's probably more risky for her. <clears throat> sure, yeah, because <laughs> I, I basically was like, you know, we we eat, we we try to see some things in the city, you know, we do shows and we and we kick back. And she was like, "Is that it?" And I'm like, "What are you, what are you looking for?" But it happens. But a lot of people live in skepticism. It's a good thing to bring up here. I'll got she now. You done heard a whole lot. This is all your friends and things like that. So there's there's some validity in probably the feelings there. But you've done a few all girls trip. Right? Yeah, your thirtieth in Mexico. Yeah. Right. That's um, so fun. They're just fun. You, you I been, have a great time. Your BFFs. Yep. And every time she leaves the house, I'm like, bye. <laughs> have fun. Did you get your charger? See ya. I, I make sure the kids are at the friend's house for that Did weekend. You get <laughs> and I'm out. Boom. I'm no, gone. I get it. And they're in that that's a special type of trust for sure. It's a special um, type of trust. Because I know that not everybody has that. Like I've gone out and people like Damien Damien let you out in there. <laughs> and I just be like I'm, I'm here having a good time for myself. I, I can look good, too, without Damon connected to my hip. That is okay. Mm -hmm. um, because I know I'm confident in my marriage. I'm confident in my relationship. Um, and, like, I don't... I, I love going out and then coming back and being like, but I know where I'm going. Mm -hmm. Like, like there's a... Diving! I love that. <laughs> Stop. I don't think that's how you sing it. That is definitely not... <laughs> that sounded like that belongs on some, like, Baywatch... Uh, I don't know. I never mean Mine it. was diving. <laughs> That's how it goes. Anyway, so I think there's a level of confidence and just there's maturity. There's going with the right people. That's big right there. That's big. If I was going to go, and I don't really have these type of friends, but let's say I was going with some clowns. Some some dudes who just untrustworthy, right? Some type of, that type of crew. Then yeah, Katoya right. or anybody else, and vice versa would be like, oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. But My. there's really no that type of crew for us, you know. Yeah, for us, that is that's very true. But that is something that if your if your your bay potentially have a few oh, people. Oh, one hundred percent. Who are a little skeezy. Because people live on the nightlife hard, you know. Ooh. I've been venturing a little bit <laughs> since January, yes. and I just be like, oh, oh, oh. on a Thursday, huh? Oh, on a Sunday huh. night. Okay. Oh, yeah, out again on a set. Like, that's the life, right? And that life is only, you know, it's possible to keep bringing in new things, new whatever. Mm -hmm. And so if that's what you're accustomed to. Also, I mean, we, I was just talking to you the other day about Jasmine Sullivan posted mm. a question in her stories. Um, and some of the it. examples that people were doing, things that they've done for the D. Whew, a lot of things. Lot I was things. like. Oh man, my worldview a little small. I <laughs> I didn't what? What are y'all doing? You did all the what now? It huh. was wild. So just saying the, the different perspectives come from experience. You crossed the state lines? <laughs> you you okay. you scoured up the hotel <laughs> wall? Like Wait. literally, y'all. They were crazy. I was like, I don't know what this is. You know me. I, a simple solution in one way, but to go deeper, I was like, girl, you need love. Mm. And somebody abandoned you. I went deep mm. for some of those. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But all that to say, I get why she thinks that. Sure. She probably been played on, mm. cheated on, don't trust the guys that mm. her uh, person is with. Uh -huh. But when you do feel more confident you in do, that, then you can, you it's can a beautiful trust thing. that. Yeah. Yeah, when you got that trust and you've got that, that just confidence in your relationship, in yeah. your SO then that, that's a beautiful thing because it just continues to allow freedom, you know, so they can get filled, their cup filled up, vice versa. You get some away time. You know, we, we're we pro away time here with the Sumners. So all of that just From everybody, works well. You each know. other, kids, yeah. whatever you all need. Of, whatever you need. Kind of help you feeling just a For little sure. bit better. So if you got it, do it. If you don't, work on it. That's what was said about that one. All guys trip, all girls trip. Me and David and Nate, we need to get on the road soon here. You know, David and Nate, those are two of my two of my favorite friends. I'm not concerned. Uh, 
I know they did have one adventurous moment. They almost sent them all into the hospital. What moment is this? Put us in the hospital. What was I doing? <laughs> Being the one that was safe. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We did. We did almost lose a man. We almost lost a man. Being adventurous. And that's what happens. Let's move it on here. Number two. Uh, another tweet. Dudes love being the little spoon. Dudes love being the little spoon. Fact or fiction? I think it's true. I came in in little spoon dating last night. You were, you, were, <laughs> you were out late last night, right? No text. Did I text you? Did I call you here? No, you didn't. Now, here's the tension. Well, we can, get, we can get it. I was like, you know what? Because here's this thing. You know, I'm out late with shows, and this is just a little tangent here. And so it is this caveat sometimes I think of like, I don't want to be like a pest and like checking in on you, but okay. it's always this thing of like just checking in and make sure you're safe, you know, this back this time. So I was like, all right, it's two. I'm assuming she's coming home fairly soon. I'm going to turn off the lights and get some rest. She should be here soon. And I looked up and, and you were there or whatever. Yeah. But. It doesn't bother um, me one way or the other. Dudes love being a little spoon. Yes. Yes. And this is for all men of all statures, six, six, four, six. It don't matter. There's something just about now, maybe not every day, maybe not every night, but at the right time, at the right moment, you get a snuggle up, little blanket, put the AC on 70, put a movie on, ain't nothing wrong being a little spoon. Listen to me, fellas. There's nothing wrong being a little spoon, whether you're 7, 2, or 5, oh, oh. You understand? <sighs> Why do people try to do that? Why do Give me and they affection. People try to do okay? that. It's all right to be a little spoon. You know, Everybody. you can't kiss a man on the cheek. <laughs> what? Well, what are we saying? I tried to rub noses. And oh, <laughs> we can talk about it. We got time before the break. We can talk about it. Okay. I thought I've done this <laughs> entire relationship, and no. David was like, "Please stop rubbing your nose on mine." She first off, she rubbed my nose. <laughs> So nose long. to nose. Nose to nose. Like this. Yes, nose to nose. Yes, like okay. if my if my nose was right there. Come on. Like if my if my Come nose on. was right there. No, and she the did. That's a, that was enough. She did it for like eight seconds. Eight seconds is a long time to rub somebody's nose with your nose. I thought it was sweet. And you thought it was sweet. And you also thought we had did this for most of our relationship. Pretty sure I've done this a lot. We've done it three times. I just think he wasn't in the mood. We've done it three times. You know times. how you can do certain things in the moment that you can't do out the moment? That's true. <laughs> That's true. We could talk about that. There's there's things that you could do in the... There's things you could say in the moment that you don't really like, say out the moment. Why are you grabbing me right whoa, there? Whoa. This is... I am... I'm working. Folk. <laughs> my clothes. <laughs> what is happening right Not now? Not that time. Not so, that. I'm pretty sure if I rubbed noses last night, it would have been just fine. <clears throat> Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> um, was that better? No. <laughs> uh, diving. I'm pretty sure we're doing the same thing. I'm pretty sure we're doing the same thing. Oh, no. The yoga is going here. <laughs> I am going here. I start in an octave and I move up to a different it's octave. Really, it's not up. <laughs> it's not up. It's not up. It's not up. If it's up, it's, this is wrong. <laughs> anyway. So, uh, yeah. B, I think we should all take turns being big spoon, small spoon, right? It's that, it's, you know what, a lot goes back into it with this whole, like, male masculinity mm. thing, right? Mm. It's all right. Now, I'm not, I don't want you to be like, hey, get your head. Can you just hold me? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not like that. <laughs> but if you got your back towards me, then oh. I'll come over and, and hold you. But if you tell me you want to be cuddled, or hold, like, that, that hell, that, that probably is going to, yeah, I'm glad you ain't never done that one. Hey, can you just hold me for a second? I'll be like, dang, you really going through? I'll start, I would start praying, Lord. <laughs> Whatever he is going through, Father, mm. <laughs> be with him. I just hope that he's okay. <laughs> we break chains. <laughs> <laughs> can you just hold me for a second? Okay. All right. Hilarious. But if, but there is something beautiful about a man <clears throat> being, um. Just vulnerable, vulnerable and free, you know, and, 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 and trusting to know that they can let their guard down. It's true, right? But, yes, but I do not want you to tell me you want me to hold you <laughs> like that. But at the same time, if you did, uh -huh. I'd be like, he must really need it. He this. must really need it. And I'm finna make sure that I I, I, I love him the way he needs to be loved. That's right? what I need. All right, this one hits. Uh, married women be single mothers too. Mm. Say that. Say that. Ooh. I feel like I'm kind of bragging right now, but that is not my situation. Mm. 
and I'm very grateful for my husband. The end. That's it. <laughs> That's all I'm trying to say. But the reality is, if there was some numbers and statistics out there in the way that most ma- uh, women who are mm. married and mm. that have children, mm. I bet it would be pretty high that they feel like they're still doing most of the work. This does not make me feel good because I 100% agree with what you're saying. Mm-hmm. And I'm not going to come in here and try to defend the, the male race or whatever gender because I want to. This is probably uh, uh, so much truth in it. And, and the charge to the fellas is we got to do better. Step up. We got to do so Get much better. <laughs> Married women be single mothers too. Uh, yeah, man, it's just, it's just men have got to do better. I remember I was on a other podcast I do, uh, called fourth and 10. And we were talking about this football player. He, I think it was his first baby. And the treat was that, uh, he was bringing in, you know, he was setting up his PS5 and everything in the delivery room. And I think they were pretty pr- playful, but I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even hear to play on that episode. I was like, it's trash. It's a trash move. My face I'm not so here confused. For, I'm not here for it. Shut it down. Listen, my uh, my midwife came in eating corn chips and I was offended. <laughs> it was an apple. Man, oh, now, I think it was both. I think it was apple and corn chips. Now, wait a minute. She was eating. Eat. And I'm over here like, oh, uh, my first baby. All right, how you coming? What? Oh, I mean, she grandma type. If a woman told you, hey, babe, can you pause that? What are we doing? I, what are we doing? In the middle of my delivery? What are we doing? That's crazy. It's crazy. And so rude. Trash. <laughs> I mean it. You but, don't get a stress reliever right now. You get to be all hands on deck. All hands on deck. Because all I need for you to do is sit here next to me and look at me. That's it. Don't massage, do nothing else. Hold Mas- something up. If you ain't going to do nothing else, you're going to sit here with me. We're going to do that. You're not going to be distracted with nothing Ooh. else. You're going to be distracted with this birth that I'm giving. Ooh. Boy, you didn't tell me that. That's, I didn't see that. Oh, uh, yeah. I that's a whole new in. wave of anger. I, I went in on that one right there. Fellas, do much but better. That's what it is. Do much that's better. That's what we're saying. Yes, that's what we're saying. You and uh, I was going to say also, like, you know, ladies, I don't think you need any in charge, but like, don't, don't settle and, and accept. And maybe you've gotten to that point. Maybe you haven't got to the point where like, this is who they is and this is what it, listen, man, no, no, no. Habits can be broken and new habits can be created. And I do mean that because coming from uh, a single mom here and how much work it takes to work and to take care of a family, Ooh, kids, man. and then enjoy life. Like it's, and then I just think it's done. I'm going to stop it. I just think it's also very dumb. Then for specifically a guy who's now supporting and helping out to be waiting in the bedroom like, all right, it's time to go to work. It's like, fam, you have done no work. This does not add up. I'm not going to be married, single mom, and come in here and be and be the uh, the lady in the sheets that you want. That's not, this is not adding up here. We're on our way to hand, may tell <laughs> with that type of life. Just, just let me serve and nothing else, and my life is now over. It's just like some more of these crazy comments about, like, you know, women and how they approach marriage or whatever. We might get to one or two, but it's <clears> like, <throat> that's not how it's supposed to be. It's not how it's supposed to be. And so, it, you know, everybody needs to come to the table, come to help the table. and work and um, create, like, a life together. Check out another episode. We've talked about healthy habits. We've talked about roles. We've talked about expectations. Like, so if you're like, yo, what, how should I start a conversation? How should I dig in? Well, we got a few episodes. Look at the catalog. Because that's really what it is. That's, how do I start this conversation? Yeah. And, you know, I was watching this one girl. She did a reel, and she was just like, I used to be like, nah, I'm keeping my kids to their baby daddy, you know, blah, blah, blah. Mm. She said, now I'll be like, where you at? I'm bringing them to you. <laughs> oh, you don't know? I'll bring the comforter. They ain't got no cover. They ain't Come got on. no sheets. It's fine. Because I'm trying to go out and do mine. There ain't no reason why I got these kids all day. You can't take them on the weekend. So let me, where you going? All right, I'll rent the car. <laughs> where you, like, she was like, what's the problem? I'll fix it so you can make sure you take your kids. And <clears throat> that's a separate, you know, relationship. But at the yes. same time, it's the same thing. Hey, I'm leaving and you are now with the children or you know your like, children <laughs> <coughs> your son your right. daughter i am not going to be here i do not know what y'all are eating tonight um, i, don't I know. am done cooking like I don't know. you just say no and then it's the survival of the fittest you might not like the results that they give it's not as good as yours but you made them step up that's, that's a passive aggressive way to go about it but it could be still a way it to can start a conversation it. yeah it can start a conversation so that's it men step up do better the end. Period. Next one. Mm, this is one of my favorites. I gotta make sure I pose. This is one of my favorites here. A real queen, capital Q. 
A real queen gonna cut up your food for you to eat it. <laughs> a real queen, you not mean, a fake queen. You mean your <laughs> mama? Like what? I don't cut up this man's food. <laughs> Listen, I might be slacking. I barely make his plate sometimes, to be honest. Man, I could be doing better with that. No, I don't need but to But after do that. I serve three little people who've been Listen complaining here. all day, I'd be like, you eating a no. What you doing? Listen here. <laughs> cut your food up. Oh, my goodness. But your hands don't work? A real queen gonna cut up your food for... This is one of the few ones. There's a a chef few... don't do that. Listen, we're not gonna get to a bunch. We might say this for another week here. There's some... That uh, some tweets said that we, we, we'll talk about another time where they're like, yo, men, it's really weird for men to do this. This is on the end of where it's weird for a man to kind of sit back, have a beer bone, and just be. If you were just in front of me and just. <laughs> just cut like today, honey. <laughs> First of all, we don't even eat nothing that require that much. We don't. What, we don't. Excuse me. I, I, I cooked pork chops the other day. They were like, you know, I don't really like that. I mean, listen, you see what I'm saying? Hey, baby, because this, of nothing. This is very funny to me. I better cut up my own kids' food you know, because this, I want them to not have this perspective when they grow up. Everybody's serving you. You hit nothing on the head here where I think a lot of men, and to I a low to a, to a low <laughs> to a low key generalization, to a low key generalization, not 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 all men for sure. And tear them up. <laughs> I don't even cut it <laughs> with my hands. I'll rip them. I'll rip them for no. Like a, I think there's some men who want a, a tier two mom. Of course. Right? There's, That's there's, real true. They want, they want somebody who either uh, kind of lives a life like their mom or they want somebody to try to take care of them and, for lack of better words, pamper them like their mom and things like that. And this is what this this is what this literally makes me think of here. Somebody who has their mom tearing up their chicken strips uh, so that they could dip them into their mashed potatoes. And I want no part of this at I'm all. I'm glad you don't. At and, all. you know, I always think, like, you know, in our marriage, in our relationship, we fought... For some independence, mm -hmm. like I'd be like, "Oh, you ain't gotta open my door." Like certain things like that. Mm -hmm. And then there was a moment I was like, "Oh, it's kind of stuff. <laughs> kind of would be kind of nice, right?" Uh, it's the same way I think sometimes when I'm raising my children, our children. I'm like, "Oh, I'm raising you to be so independent that mm -hmm. you know maybe you're not even asking for my help at all when I try to give it." Mm -hmm. So there is like a balance I feel balance. sometimes, um, but that's that's not the role. That's, that's not that's, that's not a way woman. to that's a way to love. But that's, that should not be no expectation. That's not a space of that right there. What? Of cutting up somebody's food. That's not that's not the space. If there's going to be five spaces where you do something and serve, oh. cutting up their food at the dining room no, table. No, but I did make that, dinner. That, <laughs> I did. And you do have hands to make the plate. Oh, or boy. you can't take this plate a and real queen. go in. A real so queen. So I'm fake. You're fake queen. I don't guess I'm, I'm a fake king. <laughs> I'm a court jester. What are we doing here? It's so funny. Yeah, it's I. Mm, <clears throat> nah. You're gonna cut up your food for you to eat. Are you gonna feed me? You gonna put it in my but mouth? But you know, if that's if your mama did all that for you, see my parents didn't do all that for me. They so didn't I don't do got no expectation for nobody else to do that. Listen, after my and I'm, I don't have expectation. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. No, no. And all. he said it's okay. <laughs> so not at all. I guess I can still be a real queen. None at all. Hmm. <clears throat> There it is. <laughs> Where that crown, boo? Where that crown? What's next? I just, I just always you... <laughs> wonder if these people are still in these relationships. Mm, that's a valid question. That's a valid question. But maybe they are, and maybe that's real queen status to them. And that's what I love. Though. That's true. As long as y'all love that. Come on. I love that. That's big. Y'all. That's really big. If right that there. That works for you. You know, it does not work for us. But if it works for you, yeah, do it. I'm really in for that. Do it. I saw a couple dancing last night. Okay. And she was just giving him a show. Mm. It was like a little couple thing. Mm. I didn't go with David, so I went with a couple. And I was like, oh, okay. So, how's this supposed to work? <laughs> <laughs> but they was dancing. And then he just started holding her booty mm. and touching all under. And I was like, y'all could just go home. Ooh. <laughs> this a lot. I, that escalated quickly. <laughs> it really <laughs> did. But I was like... But that's what yeah, works that's how you for gonna do it. Okay. And y'all both in this moment mm -hmm. and she looking like she getting ready. I was mm -hmm. like, oh, they about to have a good night. Then they bet this they, is how they they better have had a good they night. They better have a good night. But it was just <laughs> like a okay. Hmm. That works for y'all. That works for you. I saw that. <laughs> Dive in. Y'all tell him to stop. If you know that song, please laugh at how ridiculous he sounds trying to mimic the song. He has no idea. Oh, that's good. We're, we're literally saying it the same way. 
Moving on. Uh, here's a good one here. Uh, Yours sounds even, like a commercial. <laughs> uh, like a like I'm, I'm a swimming pool cleaner. No, uh, what are those a, things though? What? Jingle. You sound like oh. a commercial jingle, a store jingle. That's hilarious. Dive in. That's funny. I feel like I'm in a, a, a anime cartoon on WB back in the yeah, day. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> uh, next one. This one's good. This Oops. one's good. Being with someone who can stay kind even during fights <clears throat> is real important. Yeah. Whether you're dating for two days or you've been together for 42 years, this is this is real. Because one of our favorite episodes is resolving kind of conflict. Enough. Kind enough. Right? Being with someone who can stay kind enough even during fights is real important. I mean, because the reality is if you're having a fight, you're pretty upset and you're angry and then you kind of start losing some of your rationale. Mm. However, however, I, you know, I was talking to a, a couple, uh, a, a friend um, who's going through a divorce now, I think, mm. and she was just like, yeah, he said some really hurtful things to mm. me. Like, like the things that you said to me were not things that a loving person person would say to someone even if they're angry yeah and the fact that you could say those things to me means like i just don't know if we can recover from that because that's what you think Mm. and if it isn't what you think the audacity you had to throw all that out to me because of your anger Mm -hmm. um and so kind enough because i'm not very kind Mm. i can actually be very uh you don't think you're a kind person Oh, no, I'm a very kind of person, but oh. when it's sometimes for, like, an altercation, oh. I'm pretty petty. Um, I enjoy mm. it. I'm like, what mm. you got? Ha, guess mm. what you got? I got mm. five on it. Mm. What you got? Ha, guess what? I got another one for it. <laughs> <laughs> That's my type of argument. And then Damon's is like, I'm so cool and kind. Test me. Huh? And then, and then it's over, and it's like, yeah, still calm. Like, Damon is all about being calm. And I'll be like, F your calmness. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Just because you calm don't mean you right. <laughs> I once heard in the multitude, multitude of words, there's trouble. And that's stuck with me for a long time. When we usually start talking a lot, especially with frustration, yeah. conflict, it usually goes downhill. I, I, I don't know if it's something we started, we heard, or whatever. But when, when I, we, I, I try to lead out with it, feel like it's just not going to go anywhere, I'll throw out, hey, maybe we should pause this conversation. Maybe we should walk away from this conversation, talk about it later. Sometimes we do. Sometimes we don't. In those times that we don't, it does not go well. There's uh, some truth in that. And, but you know, when you upset, you want to be heard. But some, sure, many of us. Yes. And I am that yes. person. Yes. And so, I, I'm, just, I'm just saying that there is there is there's a positive in a pause. No, agree. because I'm not disagreeing. Yes, I understand what you're saying. Out of the moment, <laughs> I might there's... be disagreeing <laughs> in the moment. Fair. Uh, we have we have shown that to be true. But what I, what is important is that the pause can help try to maintain the kindness, maintain the composure to still know that this is your S O. This is still the person that, unlike your friend, you want to be with for the rest of your life, and so you don't want to say things because. If you had, I don't know, for us, we've been together 16 years. Ooh, we know the skeletons in our closet individually, collectively. We know the stuff that would hurt each other, and we don't pull them out ever. Period. Point blank. You don't ever pull them out, right? Um, because, because when. Why? Because. You know, why are you I would, seeking to. You would be, we would be trying to blow this whole thing up. Yeah. If we pulled these th- these cards out, you would be trying to blow this whole thing up. I don't really know what his cards are for me, and I don't think I like it. I don't really know what I'm going to say either, but whatever. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you over here just with cards in your pocket. We all got cards. We all got cards. Live with a person for a year. You got cards. Um, I got you. No, that's true. I mean, whatever it is. Kindness is, kindness is important. I, I think, you know, we've talked about shaking and dwelling. I think uh, the fact that Katoya is, is a great shaker, uh, there's a level of kindness with that because she's wanting to move back on for the sake of us. And probably, you know, for individually as well, if that's the best moment to go about individually. But collectively for us, it's something like, all right, let's keep us back on the same page. Let's try to salvage this night, right? And there's a level of kindness in thinking about the collective uh, element of that. Whereas, you know, you could just be like, you know, I'm out. I'm done. I'm out. I'm going to go back to the couch and, and be gone for the rest of the night. 
But kind, kindness, especially with words, and no, we're not gonna talk about actions, because once you've done kind with your physical, what? Oh yeah. What are we? Well, it's a wrap. And that's true too. But I also think kindness is where is a good press because you're saying just because you didn't put your hands on someone mm. or you didn't do something physical doesn't mean that you didn't hurt them with your words. Yeah. Um, because you know, six inch stones may hurt, break my bone, but words can never hurt me. That's a lie. That's just the dumbest thing you could ever say. I need to write that down. That's a lie. Yeah, that. What, what is that, a nursery rhyme? What is that? Why do people say that? It does hurt. Um, yes. Now, you can overcome it, and but, then, you know, the, some of the scars that are left the most on us are from people's words mm. um, that that cut us deep based upon the relationship we have with them. So, anyway, do all that. Be careful. And it is important, I think, to be kind enough. Be kind when you fight. That's what we're talking about right here. Take a pause. Take a pause. Listen. We're taking a pause. We are. We are. This has been great. Great one here. Twitter's so fun. So funny because people, people, <clears throat> people are bananas. People just got different People got a lot of things to say. <laughs> and they ain't afraid to say it behind the screen. We want to hear what you have to say. Uh, please share any thoughts about any of these coming up. As always, check us out. Private Facebook group. Uh, and drop those reviews down. We're almost at 100. You know what it is. Damn it, Katoya. We'll talk soon. Thanks for listening.